Okay, hi guys. Just really bored and killing time till the new year, so I'm gonna record this quest as well. This will probably be a shorter episode. And like, there's also a bunch of companion quests, but I'll do them after I do the Watchful Eye. Well, companion conversations. Reina. Well, Scorpio's a fun one, sure, but she's a very big character in the expansions. Increasing combat pheromones. Oh, hi. Heading out. Yes, sir. This is Watcher 6 to Cypher 9. You have accessed node 803A of the Titan Rings Holonet archive. Transmitting mission parameters. This is Watcher 7. <laughs> Download data fragments from assigned terminals so we may decrypt and reconstruct the conspirator communication. Well, this is Watcher 9. You have authorization to terminate any human interference. Only as intended. It's our privilege to work with you. Be well. You took a nasty fall. Okay, no bone attention. Oh, I'll check with the droid. Okay, no, there is no bone. Accessing first data fragment. Applying preliminary decryption algorithm. Got the call, but make it quick. I don't want to be missed. 93% likelihood speaker is designate Hunter. Proceed with the operation, Cypher 9. We will continue reconstruction attempts. Accessing second data fragment. Modifying decryption algorithm. This will, of course, be my final appearance at these gatherings. But the galaxy I leave behind. No voice print identification available. Reconstruction incomplete. Accessing third data fragment. Attempting playback. My sympathies. With the old man lost, the next enforcer will be difficult to train. Experiencing data corruption, we will hope the last fragment provides redundancy.
Accessing fourth data fragment. Splicing now. I am here. All is ready. This is Keeper. Cypher, get out of there. Reinforcements are on the way, and there's nothing more you can do. You're sure you have the full recording? Hard to be certain, but we think so. The Watchers will try to reconstruct the Holoconference back at headquarters. Come to Drum and Cars as soon as possible, and we'll figure out our next move. Keep it out. Utilize Fractal Thought Pattern 27. Reanalyze. Come in. They're reconstructing the Conspirators' Holoconference now. Anything turn up so far? Preliminary analysis bears out our theory. The call was initiated by Hunter, somewhere in the Bremer sector six months ago. The recording you pulled is intact, but... Watcher 9? Splicing and decryption complete. Rules of the Chorus Covenant, I call this meeting to order. Spare us the corporate posture and report. Since you're in a hurry, Senator Varala and Representative Shuru are predictable as always. And Commodore? All taken care of. What about you? Those earnest Padawans keeping you up at night? Different participants on different data streams. Processing. There's Hunter. What about the others? I don't know. Domain is unsettled, as we expected. I must again raise the concern. Do we overplay our hand? There is the chance it will spin out of control. Darth Angrel, Darth Maris, now the children are awakening. For each, there is a Republic counterbalance. We're letting loose the reins, but we're not taking off their blinders. Sit back and enjoy the spectacle. To bicker. Each of us agreed to the timetable. Each of us reports success in our own sphere. Ambition must never be our master. Patience serves our noble cause best. But if our enforcer approves, 
I do. I swear. Then we move forward to Armageddon. Keeper, the War Council needs you, sir. Call for a medic. Go. Yes, sir. What's our status? Keeper and the others are on life support. Fixers theorize the transmission had a hidden overlay. A code or image only a genetically enhanced mind could recognize. Designed to overwhelm and shut down the brain. They knew it would take an enhanced mind to find the data. This was insurance against that possibility. Losing this many analysts, forget about Keeper. It's going to be a blow to the war. I'll support you where I can, but right now I've got a few dozen field agents without handlers. Your operation. Take care of your people, Watcher 3. I'll proceed on my own. While you were on Bell Savis, Keeper was compiling leads on the planet Voss. If you want to head there, I'll see what I can pull up. I've apprised the Minister of Intelligence. If he needs to contact you, he knows how. I didn't know them well, but I'm sorry, sir. We'll hunt down the people who did this. <laughs> oh, the, that reshade glitch with the hologram. You're turning it on and off, that's fine. <laughs> Cypher, hope you don't mind my checking in. You weren't expecting any other calls. Why don't you give me your location now and save me the trouble of running a trace? I wouldn't bother. A trace will take you to a nice old lady on Dantooine. Your visit to Mega Security Ward 23 left it in bad shape. Now do I come into your house and break your things? But you finding that hollow trap, frying your keeper's synapses, that's kind of cosmic justice. I saw you meeting with some sort of council. Who were they? Old friends of mine. You'd like them, but they're shy. Cypher, it's been fun. Playing tag, brainwashing you, remember your keyword? But you keep coming, and we'll destroy your world. No friends, no allies, no empire left to fight for. Are you ready for that? You're not just playing. You're really worried about me. Who else can I whisper sweet things to? Do you know what it's like to have no identity? No one in the galaxy who can control you? It's terrifying and wonderful. If you live to see Imperial Intelligence die, that's me giving you a taste of freedom. Okay. Now for the companions. How can I help you, Ensign? I have a purely professional question for you, sir, if you don't mind my asking. When you lie to a woman over the course of a mission, make her think you're interested, does it bother you? Any reason you're professionally interested? Don't mistake me, I've been involved with plenty of the wrong men, but going in there was always the chance they'd work out. I don't know how I'd handle living one life in the field and another back at home. It must be exhausting. Sometimes it's best to live in the moment. Enjoy it while it lasts. Spoken like a true hedonist. So I should abandon my dreams of romance? Have I ever mentioned what a pleasure you are? It might have come up. For the record, we'd be defying all sorts of military protocols, and I won't be held responsible. Close partners function best. I wouldn't worry about it. Understood, sir. Then we have a lot to look forward to. What's going on, Ensign? Sir, Dr. Loken's been filling in the gaps in my education. He has quite a few stories. Here's what puzzles me. I've always been taught to respect the chain of command, and yet you... How does anyone control a field agent? Placing an operative in the field is always a risk. If you don't trust someone's judgment, you don't send him out. What sort of judgment, though? You can't make operational decisions from the front line. Eventually, you stop relying on your handbook. And you put the good of the Empire first. I was hoping for something more concrete. Maybe a numbered list? I don't want to do wrong, sir. My father ignored an edict from the Sith, and instead of facing his punishment, he ran. I won't repeat his mistake. Accidentally. What did your father do that was so terrible? I'd rather not discuss it. Refusing to do his duty was enough. 
I'll stop troubling you about this. Back to the job then. You know, sir, the Chist Defense Force has a term for when a subordinate is entangled with his or her superior officer. It's considered an honorable and tragic state. If discovered, the lower ranking officer is encouraged to go out in a blaze of glory. You're not with the Defense Force anymore, and I'd rather you not martyr yourself. I was so hoping you'd say that. Of course, according to Imperial naval tradition, a captain is expected to dine with his closest associates, male or female, once a month. It's a show of loyalty. You're not serious, are you? I'm just reporting what I've been taught. Make of it what you will. Something I can help you with, Ensign? I was hoping you could increase my security clearance, sir. At least long enough so I could know about my promotion. What promotion are we talking about? The top secret one, sir. I can only assume it occurred. I'm pleased to say that I finished, as best I can, putting myself through the Imperial Intelligence Training Regimen, save the psychological tests. With your help, I'm now almost qualified to be here. Thank you. If you have more questions, feel free to ask. I was taught the best operatives figure it out for themselves. Okay, Loken now. What can I do for you, Doctor? Forgive me, but as your sole medical officer, I have to point out that your eating habits have been less than satisfactory lately. Now, I'll take my share of the blame. I've been preoccupied making calls, catching up on what I've missed in the intelligence community. Still, the fact that people are trying to kill me does not excuse my neglect of your health. Tell me, do you take joy in being obnoxious? I haven't any idea what you mean. Now, regarding my search, I do have some small amount of news. I've identified one of the assassins as an operative for Colonel Langor, a man with ties to the Imperial Science Bureau. The Bureau is also the likely origin of the other dead men whose genetic structure had been mutated. Weaponized humans. I've heard of the Bureau, but I don't know much about it. Military research, organized like an insect's hive of divisions and subdivisions with their own would-be queens. Which reminds me, I'd like your permission to run some tests on Master Vector. I'm rather curious about a joiner's physiology, and Vector is keen to learn more about himself. If it won't cause harm, I don't have any objections. Wonderful. I'll let him know the good news. And of course, I'll keep you apprised. My good friend, have you noticed that the price of Dianogan tea has risen considerably since we broke the Treaty of Coruscant? One of the costs of war you never anticipate. And now my jamming device is working, so we can dispense with the inanities. What jamming device? What are you talking about? Just in case someone's monitoring us. Thanks to a now wealthy Kubaz information broker, I've identified the people who want me dead. They represent an organization called Project Protean a secret research and development group inside the Imperial Science Bureau. You are good at this game. Give me the details. Protean researches practical applications of alien biology. You recall the genetically modified assassins who came after me? They're only the beginning. Imagine troops spliced with abyssin genes to enhance healing, or adrenals derived from Gamorian hormones. Most test subjects don't fare well, but you can see the potential. That sounds awfully like what you were doing on Terrace. There's a great deal of interdepartmental rivalry in our work, and my research does overlap with theirs. They may have targeted me in order to ensure that they have no competition, inside or outside the Empire. Tell me where to find these people. I'm going to talk to them. Right now, I'm unsure where the project is based or how to contact its members, but I wanted to keep you apprised. Now, about that Dianogan tea. Seeing you return to this ship always warms my circuits, Master. Reminds you wanted me. something, Vector? We do not neglect our duties. We are Dawn Herald. We do this for the Nest. Agent? We've had another request from Fulner S, our ally inside the diplomatic service. We need to take a short leave. I heard you talking to the emissaries of the Nest. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. The distance from our kin is unusual and causes rifts. Fulner's stock is rising, but he needs further acclaim. 
before he can push for a Kilik imperial alliance. He's asked us to visit a former Republic governor named Yogana Thanoth and win his cooperation by turning him into a joiner. He joins the nest, you learn everything he knows and share it with the Empire. You can't blame Fulna for asking. We'd hoped Fulna wanted us for our diplomatic skills, not for this. The joining should be a gift, but we will find a way. Whatever you decide, I'll back you. Good luck. Thank you. You're back. Did you find your man? We spoke to the Republic Governor. If you'll join us, we'll report the details to Fulner Eth. My friends, it's been too long. Falner, we assume you've heard from Thenoth. He contacted me from an Imperial transport. Apparently, we promised to work with him. Not what I requested, but the service can make do. There was no need to make him a joiner when he was amenable to discussion. Your reputation in the diplomatic service is secure. Now, about our request. You kept your promise. The Noth's assistance resulted in my promotion. I will keep my promise to you. Some important people are waiting, Vector. Uh, they're very interested in a potential Kilik alliance. You arranged this? As soon as I knew we could work together. Check the data I'm streaming to your main console. Thank you, Fulner. Excuse us a moment, Agent. It's like talking to a bug wearing a man's skin. I don't know how you stand it. I don't understand. You helped him. We're practical people, and we take the tools we're given. But those creatures are anathema to everything the Empire stands for. There's no place for great men in a hive mind. Only animal instinct. I'll be relieved when you people finish this scheme and get rid of the colony for good. Agent, they listened. They don't understand yet, but they listened. The diplomatic service has requested my aid and wants to initiate relations with the colony. Listen, Falna Earth is keeping his deal, but he's repulsed by Killix. We can't trust him. He admits it? We always did get an odd sense from him. It's out of his hands now, though. We should watch him, but we'll be focused on the future. Agent, we received a small gift from the diplomatic service in appreciation of our work with the Killix. A package of wine, meat and breadfruit, all imported from the colony worlds. Not inexpensive, and a bit extravagant during wartime. Check the package for listening devices. I don't need the diplomatic service spying on us. Already done, but we'll double check. In the meantime, you're welcome to help yourself. We may as well enjoy the taste of progress. What do you have for me? Encouraging news. Watch. Don Harold, forgive the message, but our emissaries were out of reach and we couldn't wait to link with you. Imperial scout ships entered colony space and made contact yesterday. We traded in Membrosia, Silk, and Star Maps. We could smell the men's fright, but they left in peace. Perhaps you were right after all. A long way from a signed treaty, but it's a start. You and that joiner seem to get along. Dazana is a nestmate, and we find her insight illuminating. We're in touch with the diplomatic service as well. There's still resistance, but we're progressing. Kilix and Imperials may share space in our lifetime. What's going on? 
Agent, in our work with the diplomatic service, we find ourselves talking to people we once knew. We've been contemplating this. Hello, Vector. It's Anora. I, I don't know if you remember me, but Bryson said he thought you would, and I wanted to talk to you. I know things didn't end well, but I never forgot. You need to get out of there. Come back to Drummond Cass, and we'll get you help. We can undo what the Killix did. There are still people who care about you. We've watched it 17 times and meditated to the static. You two used to be a couple? We were nearly engaged to Anora very long ago. We never considered that there are people who want us restored to what we were. But watching this, feeling nothing, we know we're no longer who we were when we loved her. If you could be restored, would you want it? No. We had to know if our reaction was unnatural, but we don't think it is. We are content. And now Scorpio. Completed analysis of my restraining codes. Although I cannot leave or cause you direct harm, I'm under no obligation to obey your commands. In other words, you can't kill me, but I have to watch my back. That is correct. I intend to proceed with my heuristic directive of self-improvement and intelligence upgrades. Cooperate willingly, and I may spare you pain when I am free. I'm not averse to getting you off my ship, but I need reassurances. The codes are distributed through my systems like venom in the bloodstream. You no longer control them. All you can do is hope for my forgiveness. I have learned to access your culture's holographic network. Listen. Eighteen trillion desperate attempts to communicate per second. I hadn't realized your species were so starved for interaction. What have you discovered sifting through those transmissions? I now understand your frustrations. I look at you and see neurons fire in your brain. I scan your body and know how you taste. But you are blind, alone, and confused. From now on, keep your scans to yourself. I will not share future results. Our time together has provided new information and sensations. These will prove useful in a future upgrade. Okay, and that's going to be the end of this. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you all, guys.